There is a process of redefining Ukraine by Ukrainians, first of all. We are some there in the middle of this process. Ukraine is in crisis. It's been at war, and the country itself is also facing fiscal catastrophe. There were multiple challenges, and certainly we may divide into external and internal. The key to solve these challenges are at home. The problem of corruption, this is a problem of the whole period of Ukrainian independence. People do not trust the legal system of the country. Corrupt judges and their connections with other parts of corrupt system. While trying to fight with inertia of the bureaucracy, with trying to fight with corruption, we at the same time are still fighting another evil, the aggressor. If someone would have told five years ago that Russia would actually seize Crimea and would be in war with Donbass, most of the people would say, no way, that's not going to happen. We can't be we are preserving what's very important for us, the freedom of discussion and expression. We are here fighting for democratic values. We are on the front line. Ukrainians have to realize that what's happening now, it's actually fighting for their independence. And independence has a cost. Change needs time and effort. And the more profound the change, the more time and effort. And this is a prerequisite of actually achieving the new Ukraine. If we say the new Ukraine, that would be the country where the citizens take care about their role, that they do not wait any longer for government to work instead of them. They understand that they serve the state, not just themselves. New Ukraine is truly impressive. There is a new generation, and they've matured tremendously. I can see around myself a lot of optimistic people, young people, who really want to do something, who really believe in non-corrupted new Ukraine. It's happening everywhere. There is so much enthusiasm despite all the troubles. This overwhelming understanding of the value of participation is a great change pushing the country forward. What we try to do is to transform this energy into sustainable capacity of the society to act for the sake of its own interests. There has been a very concerted attempt to introduce and implement European practices, trying to establish institutions that are fair, that are equitable, and to have Ukraine be part of a kind of broader set of European norms and practices. We have to produce something new that would be built on the uh, values we share with the West. The new Ukraine is actually an attempt to recapture the original idea of the European Union. I think it is a potentially a turning point if it succeeds. This is the fight for new generation of Europeans. Success in Ukraine can be an example for much more countries in our region. And in this sense, we have to fulfill this, uh, this obligation. If Ukraine somehow becomes a join to Russia, 46 million people lose an opportunity to be part of some greater European imagination. The new Ukraine, maybe it is a metaphor, but very important one, because it shows us the destination point which we would like to achieve. Ukraine is an incredible place for innovation right now. It's just amazing how much you can do because there is nothing done. We started to develop a network of unpaid legal centers to consultate people on, the, on their rights. It added dignity for people. They could uh, realize his or her own civic rights. This phenomena is energy of Yevromaidan. Hundreds and thousands of people, ordinary people, united in different self-organized initiatives. Я занимаюсь координацией работы большой инициативы, которая помогает переселенцам с востока Украины с автономной республики Крым, которые вынуждены были покинуть свои дома в ходе конфликта. Our task is really to safeguard good journalism, to check the facts and really present to the audience something real. I think it's my obligation right now to help my country, to help solve the situation. To protect people in discriminating groups. To fight corruption and to change economical situation. To find out how we can make sure that Ukraine is being hurt. These dramatic times 
give us as Ukrainians a chance. We did a state functions without any help of state. It's a great phenomena, and I think that it's our chance. If you look at the current trends in the world, the space of democracy and rule of law is shrinking. And in this case, Ukrainian uh, transformation is vital because it may demonstrate that even under unfavorable external conditions, there is still a chance to move open society values ahead.